Meanwhile, brokerages also across the board have raised their year-end targets for the S&P 500, largely led by expectations of a soft landing and growing chances of the Federal Reserve cutting rates this year itself. Remember, US consumer prices were unexpectedly unchanged in May amid cheaper gasoline, but inflation likely remains too high for the Federal Reserve to start cutting interest rates before September against the backdrop of a persistently strong labor market. Let's also take a look at the economic growth, inflation and asset class forecasts. And on your screens, you do have uh, the uh, kind of uh, expectations that are being penciled in by Wells Fargo, JP Morgan as well as Bofa. Alright, important numbers to watch out for. Let's shift focus then. And Facebook parent Meta Platforms has been reportedly in talks to integrate its generative AI model into Apple's recently announced system for iPhones. The move comes as Apple plans to add technology from other AI companies on its devices amid re reports that it was discussing a potential tie up with longtime search partner Alphabet's Google. The iPhone maker is also expected to discuss partnerships with other AI companies in different regions like China. Well, spreads between US investment grade bond yields and treasury yields have surged to their highest in over three months, largely fueled by political uncertainty in France. The moves follow turmoil in French financial markets where ahead of France's surprise parliamentary elections, investors sold government bonds because of concerns over a budget crisis in the Eurozone's second biggest economy. Treasury yields have declined this month, with benchmark 10-year yield down to 4.269% on Friday from 4.55% at the end of May. And among other important news this morning, China and the European Union have agreed to discuss the planned imposition of tariffs on Chinese EVs imported into the European market. Street is now pricing in the possibility of easing EV prices as both sides have agreed to negotiate a planned series of import taxes. The call marks the first time the two sides have agreed to negotiate since the European Union threatened China with electric vehicle tariffs of up to 38%. Officials from both ends suggest that the two sides would continue to engage at all levels in the coming weeks. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.